might be surprised to learn that this is all the code that's required to send a text message from inside an Android app out into the world. The part you see blurred out is my Google Voice number. That's where we're going to be sending our text message. And I, what I've done is I've created this message called text sent and I've attached a random number to it be, be, between 0 and 999 so that each time we test the app we get a unique message that's sent. I've had to surround the sending of the message with a try-catch block which is required here and just in case the app uh, is unable to send for some reason we're gonna be able to get an error message. So what I'm gonna do now since this is an app that cannot be tested on the emulator because emulators cannot text as of the time this video was being made I'm going to have to create an APK file by going over to build and saying build APK and then once that APK file is built I'm going to show you how I can use AirDroid to ship it to my phone. So I got a message here saying that the APK is all ready. Now I'm going to show that file here in uh, Windows Explorer. So I'm going to come over here and open up a new tab and go to web.airdroid.com and now all I need to do is take this app and drag it into this area of the screen and almost instantaneously the app will the file I should say will appear on my phone I'm going to install it there and run it and if everything goes well the message text sent should show up on my Google Voice console okay there's my Google console you can see there's nothing in there right now so I'm gonna run the app on my phone I'll be right back and now I'm just going to wait a few minutes for the text, hopefully, to show up. And there it is. Just be warned that text messages with Google Voice take a lot longer, several minutes typically, versus text messages on a regular cell phone. Mm -hmm.